Why, hello there. How are you today? Awesome Soul here, and welcome back to our wonderful creation. So as you can see here, I have added a whole lot more vegetation from when we were here last. A couple of rocks and some other things. Now, obviously, that's not what I'm going to be talking about for the whole video. I just want to catch you guys up on what happened here. Basically what I did off screen. But we will be developing this area into something pretty fantastic in this episode. But first, yes, to catch you up, I added a bunch of trees and some rocks. So all the way up here, we've got trees covering up this pretty oddly exposed area. It, it looked weird, so I added as much vegetation as I could and made other trees cover up certain viewing angles so it didn't look as bland. We also have this little outpost up here. I'm pretty sure I didn't cover this. No, pretty sure I did not actually cover this in the video. It's kind of like this over there, except on a smaller scale. At least this part of it, anyway. Sort of like a little broadcast tower. In case that one goes down, they have a little backup over here. Inside currently is, well, unused. I don't really know what I'm going to use it for, but I will figure that out. And the stickers come in quite handy for the drone-only area. Obviously, if you were just a human worker, this would be an interesting little viewing port. Not really sure for what. But yes, you can fly drones down here and access the cave system. Speaking of the cave system, I have improved it quite a bit. Before then, it was just grass on the ground, but now there are rocks, and I think it looks a whole lot better. It's kind of like boulders fall down from the ceiling and sort of roughen up the ground a bit. I don't know if in later releases they're going to change this, but there's no way to retexture the ground, so you can only have grass, which is very odd when you're making caves. So. The best thing I found was just use these mossy boulder piles. That's the best. At least for me, anyway. And then, obviously, you know where that goes. And I also did this for the other cave, but I don't need to show that off. So yes, coming out here, we arrive at the area that we will be building in today. So, once I collect myself, I will come back and we can get building. All right, so what exactly are we doing here? Well, I'm sure you've seen by the title of the video and or the thumbnail, it kind of gives you a bit of an idea of what we're doing. But just to give you a idea behind my thought process, what I'm kind of doing over there is combining this style cave where it's completely covered with what I've sort of done over here, a collapsed cave system combining those two and bumping the size up to crazy proportions where big drones can sort of fly in easily from above and uh, bomb the heck out of people below. It also opens it up to maybe letting me put some buildings or like cool trees inside there. So what I was thinking, the best way to go about doing this is just to flatten the terrain that I'm going to be using, and then raise it from there. I think that's probably the best. So like I said, this is going to be pretty damn big. How big? Well, I haven't really finalized that yet. We don't have a huge amount of space on this side, sadly. But we do have a lot of space back here, and I'm kind of thinking it might be a little bit too much space. Hmm. So this already is larger than that cave back there. So... This... Yeah. This mountain was kind of just placeholder, but I think I might actually use it as a bit of the cave wall. Might as well. Why the heck not? I think we're getting a little close. 
yeah, actually, that is pretty much the border right there. So, uh, do I want players flying out of there? No, not really. So, I'm going to raise this up a little bit. Just a little bit. And then smooth this off. This way, when players leave this section of the cave, because I'm going to have a little exit over here, they're not thrust immediately into the death wall. Well, this isn't the death wall. That's the death wall. This is the warning wall, but still, leaving a cave immediately into a warning area it just seems kind of unprofe uh, unprofessional from a map maker's standpoint. Words are hard. Anyways. So that's looking pretty good here. Let's get a drone-sized view of this. So coming in here to the cave. What I also have is back here. I might have to adjust it slightly. But notice that you can't see directly into this new cave from the old cave. That is intentional, by the way. Because if you had like a long-range sniping weapon, you could just sit here and fire off shots into the cave. But now you've got a lot more cover. Anyway, this is looking pretty large, if I do say so myself. Though I do want it to be a pretty large, complex type thing. So it's looking pretty good so far. But I'll flatten out a bit more and then return to you once I have a more proper idea. Here we are. This is probably what the full size of the cave is going to look like. Uh, from up here it looks pretty small, but you have to realize the drones themselves that you're playing as are generally pretty tiny as well. I mean, there's the base we built compared to this. It's pretty large. And I don't think it needs to be that much bigger, because we want players to be, yes, fighting in here, but we also want them to be using other areas. And if this is basically big enough to be an arena itself, I don't think players would want to leave here. Now, something else I think it, that's needed is kind of what we did in here. If you'll remember, this little pillar is actually terrain. It's not a rock object. So we're going to do the same over here, and I think what is a good idea is kind of blocking off the entrance slightly. Mainly so when you fly into the cave right away, you're not getting blasted by everyone who's in there already. Um, I think that's pretty good. Maybe just have it kind of strut out like that a little bit. And then we'll just go and smooth it down slightly. Uh, if we need to change things, of course we can. This is just the simple layout already. Or so far, anyway, is what I mean to say. Uh, we might have to get these walls coming up as well. I'm not 100% sure whether I want the cave to sort of slowly angle downwards as it comes this way, or do I want it to be all on the same level? I'll figure that out at some point. Now, what I'm going to do here, rather than put another one of these pillars, is kind of make this the big, huge, exposed area, where all the uh, debris falls inward and kind of collapses that way. Meaning that I probably should do some sort of wall over there. And that should do it for the cave. I think that's pretty solid of a layout. Yeah. So, from here I'll do a couple little bits of roofing. And then I will rejoin you and give my thoughts on where to go next.
I think this is a pretty good spot to continue on because I do want to show off a couple of things that I think would be helpful for you guys when you're making your own maps. First things first though, I do want to come over to this area because I've sort of had a change of heart or change of plans, I guess. Now, when it comes to this end of the cave, we have this entrance here, which comes into this big area. We also have this entrance over here. I kind of consider this to be like a, a separate thing, separate from these two, even though these are two kind of... They're pretty close, is what I'm getting at. But this does lead to a whole separate entrance that you could take advantage of. Whereas this one, you kind of want to fly straight towards this one. At least that's where your eyes go to. So, yes, you have this entrance here, you have this entrance here, and on top of that, you have this entrance here. And doing a quick playtest, I feel that that's way too many entrances in one section. Because this one, three entrances, one entrance, one entrance over there, and one entrance over there. One, 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 and three. Uh, from a gameplay standpoint, I think that's a little odd. Now, the reason I say I had a change of heart is because this is what I was going to show off. Might as well do it now. So what I've been doing for these sort of smaller opened cave sections is I grab this piece here and just plop it down like so. Sort of look at it from above and ask yourself, would those rocks naturally fall like that? Or at least as close as possible, and then uh, I guess that's the answer. I guess, yes, that is natural looking, kind of, maybe? I don't know. Uh, once I finalize a lot of other things, though, I will be placing down these rocks all throughout the cave, just like in the other section. But for now, let's get rid of those and patch up this roof. It should be fine there. Make sure there's enough room underneath because some of the rocks have a large underside. Uh, that should be fine. So you've got that entrance and that entrance there and then the roof entrance over here. Kind of adds a bit more variety. Now, this section, the main section, what exactly are we going to do over here? Well, first things first, I think we do need to adjust the terrain. Now, what we have done in the past is use these pieces here. Might be a little bit dark because I have baked the terrain so shadows are actually accurate now. So yes, we've got this rock fall here and we've also done the same over here as well. I think this section is a little bit too large to just use rocks. I think it would end up looking a little weird. So what we'll do instead is switch over to um, something like this, perhaps. Brush opacity is fine, but let's make it a little bit smaller. So we're just going to kind of rough up the ground a little bit just to make it look like there's some, I guess, boulders that have been buried underneath. Should be fine like that. How does that look like from ground level? Not too bad. Let's just make the center point a little bit higher up. Because obviously, is that the, actually the center? Eh. That's more the center there. But yeah, because obviously most of the debris would fall into the center bit. At least that's my thought, anyway. Uh, yeah, not too bad, actually. That also adds a bit more cover for the sight line to that entrance there. Not a bad idea. Glad I thought of doing this. The other thing we kind of did already, just by happenstance, is when it comes to these pillars, I don't know if you got a good look at them, but before I did anything, this was basically the bottom 
possible layer. So you can't go any lower than that. And it made some of the rocks look really weird. Like they were kind of sitting on almost nothing. Like they would curve underneath and it looked very unnatural. So if you get that unnatural look, just fill it up a little bit, but not too much. Just like that. Now it looks a bit better. You can kind of see. Let's get our drone and get the flashlight on. So there we go. Looks pretty good. That's enough of that. Now, the big thing that I did want to do here is have one big focal point in the center of this collapsed cave section. And I think the perfect candidate for that would be a nice little tree. Now we could go with perhaps something like this. Fairly large single standalone tree. That could look pretty good. Or we could go with this more gnarly, funky looking one. That's not terrible. The only thing that I'm kind of concerned with is this sawed off bit. Is it really sawed off though? Hmm. I actually don't mind that. It's missing a fair amount of leaves. Sort of saying like it's not getting as much sunlight as it could because it's covered by rocks. And a lot of the trees and twigs and stuff, or leaves and branches rather, have been snapped off. Meaning that, you know, random rock falls have knocked off a bunch of things. It's also got the really gnarly looking roots there. So yeah, I think that's actually a good choice. Let's just raise it up a little bit. So we've got something for the roots to sit on. There we go. That works. Not too bad. Not too bad at all. Just going to smooth this section out a little bit. And we should be pretty much good to go here. Though that's not everything I do want to do. Obviously, I'm going to have to put rocks on top, and the other thing I was thinking, maybe a couple of ferns as well. Besides that, though, the other part that I've been toying around with is maybe adding some sort of little mini micro base back here with an entrance coming in from there. Might be too many entrances, though, but... I think it would add a little bit more flair to this thing. Or I could add something here, I don't know. Uh, anyways, I'll rejoin you once I figure out what I'm going to be doing. Looking pretty good, if you ask me. Now, I may or may not have gone ahead and done something else. Okay, maybe I, I actually have. Yes, as you can see, I have gone ahead and made a secret underground base in the spot that I said I would probably end up making a secret underground base. Uh, currently, it doesn't really go anywhere, and... I'm not sure of its purpose, really. I think under here is perhaps like a little mining area, though there's not really a huge amount of stuff to mine down here. It's like, it's not a dedicated mine. Or perhaps this area of it is a mine, or maybe it was a mine at one point and then it collapsed and now they've just abandoned it. Maybe? I guess that's kind of it. Because this area could be for storage of, like, boxes and stuff, and then they would carry it up the stairs. That doesn't seem that safe, though. But anyways, once... Well, really, you know the drill at this point. I'll continue along building and update you as I go. Here's the structure so far. I've got this nice little indented window section for both the upper and lower floor. We've got this balcony. I'm going to flatten this out a little bit more. I don't know if I'm going to connect it all the way down to here. Probably not. Just gonna flatten it to make it look a little nicer. 
and then we go in here and we can go downstairs this is going to be like a work area type thing and then we have the tunnel access area slash mineral storage possibly again i'm not sure what this building is going to be exactly but i just feel i need another structure over in this corner of the map because it's i don't know it, it probably could use it i guess i don't know anyways uh, from there, what I will probably be doing is adding a little bit of an upper floor slash balcony. So once I have that done, I will return to you guys. That's the basic shape of it, and I think it was a good idea adding the second floor, because now it's a lot more visible from the other side of the map. Can you see it from back here? Just barely. I think adding some sort of radio communications wouldn't be a bad idea, because we have that side covered, that side covered, but this one's pretty far off and kind of tucked away between these two mountains. So, I think it's a good idea. Plus, it's fairly low, so yeah, I think players do need a way to easily spot this thing especially if they're new to the map. So how can I go about doing this? Uh, let's build this one live for a change, because why the heck not? Uh, let's have it over in that corner there. Let's get a couple of pillars, like so. And then... Let's flatten this area out. Uh, I think I'll make it a little taller. Yeah, yeah, make it slightly taller. Okay. So from here, let's add just one more row of these guys. And on top of them, I can place this. So it's going to be kind of similar to the first one I made. Although I did make that one off camera. So this will be my building method for that tower, more or less. Congratulations. Um, do I want to make it exactly the same, though? I'm not sure if I am actually making it precisely the same as that one. What I could actually do is just add a little bit of visual flair by doing that. But I think I'll still have these around the center. Whoops, I don't mean to do that. There we go, okay. So I guess these are kind of part of the antenna array, they absorb the signal. Although it would make more sense if they were only up higher. I don't know. Until we get more detailed parts like this in the editor, these will work for the purpose of whatever the heck I'm trying to do here. Not looking too bad there. Looking pretty good, actually. And then top it off with that yeah sure okay now let's grab ourselves one of these handy dandy lights there we are so i'm gonna go with the same red color as i have over there and then down here i think i'll do let's do a bunch of different colors Let's go with... Actually, no, let's just go with teal. Sure, that works. Yeah, not too shabby. And then from here, we will grab ourselves one of those beacon-style lights. They don't really have a name. Uh, where are they? There they are. Okay. 
try and center it as best I can. I think that's pretty good. And let's go max size, because why not? Or maybe not? I don't know. What I do want to do is to make it a little bigger, but not too big. I do want to do is have the same setup as I did for the other one. Let's just pull back a little bit and enlarge it so it sits up right there. So, now that we've gotten the cave floor and have baked the light, let's take a look at what this cave actually looks like. So, here is one of the entrances. I'll just quickly duck out this entrance here. And if we just stick our heads up this way, we can see the base over here. I guess we can make our way back inside and down to the other entrance. I guess the newest entrance, we can say. If we uh, don't get stuck on the way down. There we go. So yeah, you can see the boulders that were here originally have been connected with the other boulders. And this, not quite as noticeable as it once was, but it's still raised up enough that you can kind of tell that there's something above it that you should probably check out. They do have this section here that we can fly through if we need to. We can go up there, or we can fly out back here. That one's a little bit more hidden than some of the other ones, but sneaky players will figure that out eventually. Speaking of sneaky players, if you wanted to lay in wait while somebody zips out that entrance there, you can kind of come in behind them and launch a sneak attack. And then after you get your kill, you just fly out and go wherever else you need to, I guess. Now, the center area, I opted to not really put any boulders. I don't think it would look good with them because it's got all that foliage there. I did put them in a few spots, like under here. Like these are the rocks that fell down and snapped that tree. And this was a long time ago because it's been buried by dirt and stuff. But really from there, that's pretty much everything. I might as well show you that I did, in fact, put the boulders in this section because I didn't have them before. But yeah, let me know what you think of all of this. I think it turned out really, really well. The way the light shines here is magnificent. This game is very pretty, I'll give it that. And they will be increasing the prettiness, at least from what I've been told anyway. If you think it looks good now, you'll uh, be pleasantly surprised. But yeah, with that, I, of course, have been the Awesome Soul. I'll probably be doing some more touch-ups on this. In much the same way I left the other one, you'll... I'll be returning here and you'll see foliage atop this cave here. And I'll, uh... I'll do something with this. But I'll wait for your comments before I do anything over there. But yeah, with that, guys, I, of course, have been the Awesome Soul. I thank you all so very much for watching. I'll see you next time. Take care.